Hello, I'm Igor. Questions and answers at the last day of 2020. But before I start, I would like to uh, thanks to all my patrons. They're not many, but uh, it is so motivating to have Patreon supporters that I decided to disable all the ads during the video. I don't want to interrupt my viewers with those breaks. And me personally, for example, I would never subscribe to a channel when I see that it can run, I don't know, uh, C4 ads in 12 minutes of video. Of course, that's my opinion, but um, okay, let's go with the questions and answers. Uh, I'm expecting more technical questions, but I got only two. Uh, first, uh, do you think it's worth to modify the Ender 3 V2 to print high temperature materials? Uh, it depends uh, what they want to print. If you want to print only uh, PLA and PETG and maybe very rarely ABS, for example, of course for ABS you will need an enclosure, then you don't need this upgrade. But if you want to try uh, nylon or you want to print a lot of ASA, ABS, uh, then definitely yes, it's worth uh, because you will get new opportunities with uh, this printer. Question 2. Do you think Prusa Slicer is a good alternative to Cura for Enders 3? Definitely yes, but not completely alternative. I use both slicers for, for my Enders 3. Prusa Slicer is free and it also has uh, a profile for, for Enders 3. And uh, there's always new uh, options in, in both slicers. For example, uh, I want to try now the so-called ironing with the Prusa Slicer on Enders 3 V2. Uh, with that you can get a very nice uh, top layer So yes, yeah, definitely worth to use both slicers I got one more technical question, but it's, it's not really my topic Do you believe that 3D printing uh, and their RC hobby go hand in hand? However, I would like to know what the future RC battery will entail I don't really understand this question and as I mentioned uh, it's, it's not really my topic uh, these RC batteries and then I got uh, maybe five questions which are about me. Uh, what is your career path? Uh, which is your dream job? Uh, how old are you? Where are you from? And what do you teach at the university? Okay, so I'm from the uh, north part of the Serbia near Hungarian border. Well, actually, uh, in that time, 47 years ago, it was part of the Yugoslavia. And then, uh, approximately 10 years ago, I moved with my family to capital of the Hungary, and that's where I'm here now, in Budapest. What is your career path? Uh, well, actually, I consider that my career path started when I was a kid, helping uh, to my father in his workshop, who is also a mechanical engineer. And then I finished the mechanical technical uh, middle school in Serbo-Croatian language. And then I finished the mechanical uh, university in Hungarian language. Then I was one year in the military and then I started uh, to work uh, in a big injection molding stock company. I spent there six years. Uh, my primary job was uh, programming a big Maho CNC milling machine. Only programming, I didn't operate on it. And maybe that's the reason why I started uh, with the 3D printing. I was missing that, that, that I designed something in 3D and I want to have it in my hand. And uh, after this, uh, when I moved to Hungary, I started to work as a teacher in St. Ishan University. And beside that, I'm running my software development business and, of course, my YouTube channel. Uh, on, on university, uh, I'm teaching basics of mechanical engineering. And uh, theoretically, this could be my dream job, but uh, the problem is that I'm teaching uh, food engineers. Uh, and uh, most of them are girls who, who don't really care about mechanical engineering so it would be good, better to teach my future colleagues uh, uh, mechanical engineers M what is my dream job well actually i would like to be a professional youtuber because i i do the, these kind of things experimenting test things all the time only now i'm doing it in front of camera but it, it would be so good uh, to spend all the time with this. Uh, so far uh, I'm in minus with the budget with every second video, but uh, so far it's not about uh, money. But uh, yes, it would be good to be a professional YouTuber, then I can afford uh, better new equipment uh, and uh, similar. If my channel grows uh, linearly with this speed, uh, then probably I will never get to this level. Uh, I calculated maybe in 10 or 15 years I will get to that level that I can do this professionally so uh, I don't think that will happen but we will see 
and it looks like I answer all the questions. Next question and answers will be at the last day of 2021. Until that, well, thank you for watching and happy printing.